going to attempt to build a real bright portable flashlight. I'm going to go through the components quick. Now this here is a Cree XML U2 100 watt emitter. There's 10 bulbs or 10 LED chips inside there. I have this bolted to a one inch thick large piece of aluminum with holes drilled in it to help cool it. And I'm going to end up using two of them for a total of around 200 watts. These are up to 10,000 lumens a piece, so you're looking at hopefully pushing up to 20,000 lumens. I'm going to be using a 12 volt battery, the actual 7 amp hour battery, and a DC to DC uh, driver, 12 volts in, and approximately it'll be around 30 volts out. And I'll be controlling the light with a, a motor controller. I think this is a 20 amp rating. I'll be monitoring the temperature with a temp probe. This is a controller as well, which will kick a fan on and off. I'll be cooling it with a computer fan. We'll be able to monitor everything with a uh, voltmeter that'll show me the volts, amps, and watts. We'll have us a switch to turn everything on and off, and we'll probably throw another switch in for good measure. And of course, a fuse in case you short something out. And to aid to the functionality of the piece of equipment, this here will be a USB charger for phones or tablets or whatever. And everything's going to get stuffed in this 50 cal ammo can. By the time I'm done, should have me a good uh, spotlight, searchlight, flashlight, whatever you want to call it. People, when they look at it, it'll give them the uh, wow effect of pulling crap that's pretty neat. So let's get going. On this side I have a temperature probe to monitor it. I can adjust the temp up and down to turn on and off for the fan, which uh, cools quite well. I have a USB port to charge phones, uh, 1 amp and a 2.1 amp, the power switch, and then another switch to turn on and off the bottom light, so if you want to run one light. And then on top is uh, basically a dimmer, and here's what monitor your amps and watts and voltage. I'll show you outside the uh, Fresnel lens they put on in front of it tightens this beam up unreal. Yeah, this is a uh, kind of a wide angle beam. But you're talking about 12 inches there, so it does widen up quite a bit. But it's extremely bright. And as you saw inside, I've uh, placed everything in a decent location. I was able to fit everything in there. Pretty well self-contained and the battery does last a lot longer than what I thought. Uh, the fan does cool these massive 
aluminum blocks that I'm using for heat sink quite well. And you literally can run it with one light on half throttle without worrying about the fan turning on. Set out and see how she does. Alright, for starters, I'm going to use my through night TN12 on high. That, my house is probably a good 35 feet away. And next up is that Unique Fire 3500 Lumen. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the night blast here. There's the 3500 lumen light. See how it just completely drowns it out. Seven point six watts. Kitty, kitty. Pretty bright, huh? Now, one thing here is I have a Fresnel lens and either I'm going to build another one of these with a signal emitter or I might uh, add to this one and this is pretty wicked. That tree line out there is over 300 yards away. <laughs> <laughs> 